Almighty God, who in your wisdom and goodness have appointed offices of leaders and county assemblies for the welfare of the society and the just government of the people, we beseech you to behold with your abundant favor as your servants whom you have been pleased to call to the performance of the important trusts in this county and the Republic of Kenya. Let your blessings descend upon us, you assemble and grant that we treat and consider all matters that shall come under the, our deliberation in so just and faithful a manner as to promote your honor and glory and to advance the peace, prosperity, and welfare of our county and of those in, whose interests you have committed to our church. Uh, Madam Clark, confirm whether we have quorum. Honorable Speaker, quorum is not present. Okay, can the Sajina Tam ring the bell for 10 minutes?
secundaria o de primaria. Clerk confirm whether we have we now have quorum. Speaker, the quorum is now present. Orders of the business. Order number one, administration of oath. Next order. Order number two, communication from the chair. Next order. Order number three, messages. Next order. Order number four, petitions. Next order. Order number five, papers. Next order. Order number six, notices of motion. Next order. Order number seven, statements. Honorable Cynthia. Honorable Teresa Mayo. It's like I already have a, a statement here. Thank you, uh, Honorable Speaker. Pass one to standing order number 452C. I stand to seek a statement from the chairperson roads and infrastructure uh, together with the committee concerning the closure of Irimis or Langata Road in Kilibwani Ward. Honorable Speaker, I wish that the chairperson to respond as to why was this access road closed? What is this conflict that caused the closure? And what actions and timelines can the department take in order to open the access road to the community and allow them to access important amenities? Honorable Speaker, the people of Olangata Remis are suffering due to closure of that road. And recently, an expectant laboring woman was really disadvantaged because they were trying to ferry her using a motor bike to the hospital to deliver. It's really serious. And even the farmers there, they are using motorbikes to go around to, to come to town because the road was closed. It's a road that has been used for over 20 years. 
it was, it's a road that was that has issues. So I really wish that the committee can come in and help the people of Irimis or Langata Road get that road open as soon as possible. Thank you. Uh, the chair, uh, roads. Sala sana wana speaker na fikiri tatupatia wiki moja hili tupatia majibu. Tumekua na shida mingi sana hata area yangu na hito kimwero. Kuna watu nafunga barabara na hiyo barabara metumika karibu miaka arabaini. Tasa sujui setane kane menge kwa watu yetu. Ondo wa Cynthia. So, Sergeant Atam, I think the the other you should check on the other mic to be able to make sure that there is other the whole of this bench is working. Yes, Honourable Cynthia. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Uh, before I seek a statement, Honourable Speaker, allow me to comment on the statement that has been sought by Honourable Terry, and uh, maybe this will be it will help the chair uh, committee on infrastructure. Honorable Chair, this is a thorny issue that uh, we have had a meeting with the locals, including the leadership, the administrative leadership in the place, Honorable Speaker. And it's an issue that looks like there are other fingers that are poking into the same matter. Honorable Speaker, uh, I want to inform the Chair as he goes to be able to find the exact details and bring a report that is, that will leave, uh, that is bounding to this House, that this is an issue that I, the Governor, the CEC and the CEO, I've had a talk about Honorable, Chair, uh, Honorable Speaker, and it is an issue that needs urgent attention, Honorable Speaker. Those people. Yeah, those people, including myself, Honorable Speaker, are really suffering. And it is a small issue. It is an issue that has been ongoing. It is an issue that be, should be sorted out uh, through the, the, the fact that government is held in perpetuity. Because if you look at the records, because I've had an opportunity, Honorable Speaker, to go and look at the records of what was happening, this issue was being handled well and correctly and in an agreeable manner with the owners of the land when the former councillor, famously known Pende, was in this house. And I, I know Honorable Sinoe could be having information on the same. So Honorable Speaker, just uh, because it has come to the floor of the house, we want to ask that uh, the committee on roads, I hope it is going to act on it because it has been two weeks since we spoke about it or I spoke about it to the governor, the CEC and the CEO roads that they should be able to deal with this matter uh, with the urgency it deserves. The people are really suffering. Can you imagine that if you come from Kipture, it is the shortest way to get to Kapsabet, but you have to go all the way to Kipsiga Junction or all the way to uh, Chebarbar Junction for you to get to Kapsabet. It is hectic, Honorable Speaker, and that is a road, Honorable Speaker, that we have invested county money. It is among the first road that, roads that I um, that I allocated the kilometers that were given to every road in this county for it to be done all the way from um, Irimis all the way to Kipture, Honorable Speaker. It is a very possible road, but the person who claims to have uh, issues with the road has seriously uh, fenced it off, like literally in the middle of the road, and the person invested heavily on the uh, on the um, on the on, on the on the uh, timber that he used in fencing it off. So, Honorable Speaker, I want to agree with Honorable Terry and ask the department that it acts with the, uh, uh, in the soonest time possible, so that those people can be able to use the road. Honorable Speaker, back to the statement that I'm seeking. I Pass one to starting order 45 1C1. Uh, I stand to seek a statement from the chairperson education and vocational training uh, in respect to students revolving fund. Honorable Speaker, uh, we, we are all aware that we have student uh, uh, college and university students in uh, Nandi County, and I've had an opportunity, Honorable Speaker, of interacting to them uh, with them, Honorable Speaker, courtesy of um, maybe my age, Honorable Speaker. So they feel more comfortable telling me a number of things, and they are so bitter, and they keep comparing our county with other to other counties, Honorable Speaker, that other counties have a revolving fund that they can be able to access money even when they miss the bursary that is 
given by the county government. And they have uh, real issues on the speaker because they claim that only students from Nandi, especially in colleges and universities, are suffering more and they do not see uh, the attention paid to them in regards to uh, money that they can be able to use to advance their education. So, Honorable Speaker, in one of those meetings that I was in, Honorable Speaker, they bitterly complained about how Nandi County does not have a revolving fund and what we are doing about it. Honorable Speaker, I thought I, I, had, uh, I had seen uh, uh, the, 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 the chair uh, education had uh, been able, the committee had been able to amend whatever we are having the act to be able to include uh, the revolving fund. But Honorable Speaker, just so that we can be able to put things into perspective and for those people to have what they rightly deserve, Honorable Speaker, I am seeking from the chairperson education and vocational training that we should be able to ascertain if indeed the Department uh, of Education and Vocational Training, the executive, have actually a policy on the county education revolving fund. And if they have it, Honorable Speaker, the next question that they should have it, Honorable Speaker, the next question that I want them to answer is what are the plans of the department if indeed we do not have a, revo a county revolving fund um, a act or policy? And uh, on that, Honorable Speaker, we are asking if they do not have it, what are the plans and when are they planning to forward a draft of the same to the county assembly for approval? So, Honorable Speaker, this is an issue that should be done as soon as possible. Of course, many people might think that uh, it is not going to be of help right now, Honorable Speaker, but we are not here to serve the interest of today. We are here to serve the interest of even the future. So, this one, Honorable Speaker, will be uh, for posterity matters because the students of university and colleges are going to be in Nandi for as long as we live whether we are in the assembly or we are not, or another group is in the assembly. So this is important, Honorable Speaker, so that we have structures in this county and especially structures that will be able to help our students and children to be able to access higher education without much struggle. So, Honorable Speaker, I want to ask uh, that the chairman be able to report to this house on those three matters. Is it available? If not, what are the plans and when are they planning to be able to bring it to the county assembly for uh, the county assembly to approve? Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Uh, Honorable Chair, uh, thank you, Honorable Speaker. Uh, the draft is ready. Uh, I believe we should be able to bring it uh, within the week, if not next week. Fair enough. So the both statements sought, uh, Honorable Chair Roads and Honorable Chair Education, uh, you are promising to, within a week, to be able to deliver the same. Make sure you stick to those timelines. Honorable Fred, what I saw you, is there? Mwishimiwa speaker, nilikuwa nataka kuchangia kuhusu hiyo barabara, lakini naona imepito na wakati, mwishimiwa speaker. Fair enough, you'll have an opportunity to be able to contribute just when the chair transport will be referring back to the house. And we are hoping that it will be soonest, because that is really a nightmare to those people who are living within that particular disputed uh, transport corridor. So, next order. Order number eight, motion. Honorable Walter Tenu. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. <coughs> Honorable Speaker, I wish to move a motion that this House adopts the budget and appropriation committee report on Nandi County Annual Development Plan for financial year 2022-2023, laid on the table of the House on 10 February 2022. Honorable Speaker, <coughs> on behalf of, of the budget committee and as required understanding order number 189-3A, I take this opportunity to present to the House the committee report on the annual development plan for the year ending 30th June 2023, as submitted to the County Assembly by the County Executive Committee Member for Finance and Economic Planning on 1st September 2021. Mr. Speaker, sir, the Constitution and the PFM Act place significant responsibilities on the County Assembly over the management of public resources, particularly with regard to resource mobilization, allocation, monitoring and control. <coughs> the Budget and Provision Committee is a select committee established 
uh, understanding of the 189.2, which provides that there shall be a select committee to be known as the county budget and appropriation committee. Honorable Speaker, and one of the role is to make a report concerning uh, the ATP. Honorable Speaker, Speaker, <coughs> the budget process cycle uh, is that the, 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 the ADP was submitted to the Office of the Clerk on Tuesday 1st, September 2021, in line with the provision of Section 126.3 and the PFM 2012. The County Assembly is mandated to approve the plan as per Section 126.3 of the BFM Act 2012. Honorable Speaker, the ATP 2022-2023 was late before the assembly on 7 September 2021 and was committed to the committee on budget and operation to consider and review the ATP and make recommendations to the assembly taking into account the views of the sectoral committee the views of the executive committee members in charge of finance and economic planning and the public honorable speaker the committee began its deliberation on CID, uh, ATP on ATP 2022-2023 on Thursday, the 9th day of September 2021, all through to the commission of this report. Honorable Speaker, the County Assembly, in consideration of, of its role in representing of the public interest and pass one to Article 196.1b and 201 of the Constitution of the Kenya 2010, and as stipulated in Section 871a b of the County Government Act 2012, the Nandi County Assembly on Monday, 18 October 2021, at the Kipchoke Motan Training Camp, invited various stakeholders and the general public to submit their views in respect to the Nandi County Annual Development Plan for financial year 2022-2023. Honorable Speaker, also, the County Assembly of Nandi invited various stakeholders and the general public to submit their views through written memorandum to the clerk. Nandi County Assembly or through the official email specifying the policy areas, programs and views in respect to the Nandi County Annual Development Plan for, 20, for, for the year financial year 2022-2023. That was in accordance with provision of Article 10 of the Constitution on the National Values and Principles, Article 196 and 201 of the Constitution and Section 102A of the County Government Act. Honorable Speaker, the committee undertook consultations with respect to county assembly sectoral committees on the various aspects of the ATP 2022-2023. Honorable Speaker, the views of the CCM responsible for finance economic planning were taken into account prior to committee finalizing the recommendations to the county assembly. Honorable Speaker, I wish to thank the members of the budget and operation committee for the dedicated commitment to this end. The, I also wish to thank the Office of the Speaker and Office of the County Assembly for the support received as it is judged its mandate for reviewing the Nandi County Annual Development Plan for financial year 2022-2023. Yeah. Honorable Speaker, I also want to thank the members of the County Assembly who submitted their views and recommendations. I also wish to thank the County uh, Assembly Budget Office for their technical support. I also want to thank the members of the public and special interest groups who took their time to, gener to, de to generate and for, what for their constructive use on the ATP through the County Assembly of Nandi website. Their contribution shall forever remain documented as an evidence of their commitment to support the County Assembly in achieving its mandate of oversight, legislation and representation. The effort, the effort of all of those I have listed above is a strong affirmation of the citizens of the important roles this house plays in resource allocation and mobilization. Mr. Speaker, sir, it is there for my place and duty and privilege of, on behalf of the committee, of budget and project committee, uh, to table recommendation on the speaker. Honorable speaker, because members have the document, I will straight away go to recommendation. That is from page 67, honorable speaker. <coughs> honorable speaker, Having deliberated on the County Annual Development Plan for financial year 2022-2023, the Committee on Budget and Operation Committee recommends as follows. Under 5.1, that is recommendation on budget policy measures. The County Executive shall ensure that appropriate public position is undertaken by the County Executive before an ATP is submitted to this Assembly. P. 
the committee recommends that the Nande County Finance and Economic Planning Department should ensure timely forwarding of annual development plan for approval on time as per Section 1263 of the PFM Act 2012. This is to provide the county assembly sufficient time as provided in Section 129.5 of the PFM Act 2012 to interrogate the DB adequately and as well as to inform the entire process of the county budget cycle. Number C, with regards to the poor implementation status of ATB for 2021, uh, for 2020-2021, the county executive committee must be compelled by the assembly to provide the county assembly with full and regular reports on matters relating to the county by virtue of Article 183.13 of the Constitution of Kenya. Similarly, the county officers of each entity ought to report regularly to the county assembly on the implementation of their budget. Further, the county assembly must regularly re request the county treasury to prepare and submit reports on matters relating implementation status of the budget. And T, the committee recommends that, that, that the distribution of, of resources should be guided by the principle of equity. This is the essence of devolution as envisioned in Constitution of Kenya 2010. And E, the committee recommends that there is need for ATP to contain realistic programs that can be implemented within the financial year to give it to life. Honorable Speaker, under 5.2, that is budgetary recommendations. The committee recommends that the CCM in charge of finance economic planning in consultation with the CC for healthy and sanitation to consider allocation of Kenya shillings 120 million 500,000 for completion and equipping of existing healthy facilities in budget estimates for financial year 2022-2023 as annex in annex year one. Number P, the committee recommends that the CCM in charge of finance and economic planning in consultation with CCM for agriculture and cooperative development to consider allocation of Kenya shilling 65 million for operational millet cooling plants across the county in budget estimates for financial year 2022-2023 as also annexed in annex, annex year two. Number C, the committee recommends that the CCM in charge of finance and economic planning in consultation with the CCM for education and vocational training to consider allocation of Kenya shillings 150 million. 150 million, that is Kenya shillings 5 million per ward for construction of 60 ECT centers, that is two ECT centers per ward in budget estimates for financial year 2022-2023 as annexed in Annex Year 3. Number T, the committee recommends that the CCM in charge of finance and economic planning in consultation with the CCM for education and vocational training to consider increasing allocation of Kenya shillings 120 million for education bursary fund to Kenya shillings 180 million in budget estimates for financial year 2022-2023. E, <coughs> the committee recommends that CCM in charge of finance and economic planning in consultation with the CCM for lands and natural resources to consider allocation of Kenya shillings 100 million for construction of water projects across the county in budget estimates for financial year 2022-2023 as annexed in Annex year, five, annex year 4. F, the committee recommends that the CCM in charge of finance and, econ and, and economic planning in consultation with the CCM of, for sports, youth affairs and arts to consider Kenya Shilks 25 million for laying tatan track, construction of ticketing, cubicle, provision of electronics, uh, scoreboard and public address system at Kipchoke Stadium in budget estimate for financial year 2022-2023. G, the committee recommends in uh, that the CCM in charge of finance and economic planning in consultation with the CCM for administration, public service and e-government to consider allocation of Kenya shillings 10 million for tarmacking of Mosori at Paspak, Kenya shillings 10 million for construction of tam site at Kaimosi, Kenya shillings 20 million for completion of governor's service and Kenya shillings 10 million for completion and equipping of fire stations at Kapsabet and Nandi Hills in budget estimates for financial year 2022-2023. Uh, the committee recommends that the CCM in charge of finance and economic planning in consultation with CCM of administration, public service and government to consider allocation of Kenya shillings 160 million for provision of insurance cover for all county staff in budget estimates for financial year 
number I, that is the committee recommends that CCM in charge of finance and economic planning in consultation with the CCM for trade, investment and industrialization to consider allocation of 10 million for completion and operationalization of market stalls across the county in budget estimates for financial year 2022-2023. Chai, the committee recommends that the CCM in charge of finance and economic planning in consultation with the CCM for trade, investment and industrialization to consider allocation of Kenya shillings 5 million for construction of 10 butter butter sheds and Kenya shillings 10 million for completion and operation of Mosoria textile unit in budget estimates for financial year 22-23. The committee recommends that the CCM in charge of finance and economic planning to consider the following as part of the country development by sector and programs expenditure for financial year 2022-2023. The county government of Nandi has shown in the table that uh, I, I know all members have the table so that they can have uh, all the, the factors of the budget which uh, to be considered in 2022-2023. And because all members have the table, Honorable Speaker, you can start with health and, and sanitation, followed by transport and infrastructure, which in, includes installation of calvas, 30 million, budgets of maram, 30 million, hire of machines, 200 million, construction and development of bridges, 40 million, administration of an operation, uh, an operations, 15 million, construction of me mechanical workshop, 5 million, budgets of road equipment, 5 million, <coughs> emergency, emergency calvas and bridges, 20 million. Fuel for road works, 80 million. Road reserve uh, demarcation, 5 million. The roads totals to 430 million. In agriculture, it totals to 237.5 million as per the table. And in education, 202.5 million. Uh, lands, environment, and natural resources and climate change, 179 million, 349,794. Sports, youth, and affairs, youth affairs and arts, sorry. This totals to 71 million. Uh, tourism, agriculture, and social welfare, that's 6.5 million. Administration, public service, and e government, 104 million. <coughs> uh, trade, inf investment, and industrialization, <coughs> that is 63 million. Finance and economic planning, 21 million. <coughs> Mr. Speaker, sir, I wish to confirm that the recommendations of the committee in this report was unanimous. It is therefore my duty and privilege on behalf of the County Assembly Select Committee on Budget and Approbation Committee to therefore request this Honorable House to adopt this report and approve it subject to all mentioned recommendations. I beg to move and I call upon Honorable Royal Rotich to second. Honorable Royal Rotich, I wish to now propose that the motion on the adoption of the Budget and Appropriation Committee report on Nandi County Annual Development Plan for the financial year 2022-2023 be discussed. Honorable Mengich. Uh, Honorable Speaker, I wish to thank the committee for the report. I'm wondering uh, whether they had adequate time to go through this report because uh, the proposal that uh, they, it was unanimously agreed that uh, no amendments uh, on the matter of uh, Basari, Honorable Speaker, that is on page 68, the committee recommends that the CCM increasing allocation from uh, 120 million. Honorable Speaker, currently uh, the 2021-2022 Basari allocation is 85 million. Maybe in his right of reply can confirm whether we have had uh, a Basari of 120 million. Otherwise, I support that we increase it to 180 million, even though I know the burden of education, the 180 million will not even be adequate. On the matter of uh, <coughs> Department of Roads, Honorable Speaker, on the matter of roads, allocating 200 million, alloc uh, proposing to allocate 200 million for higher machines, Honorable Speaker, raises so many questions. One of which is that, uh, one of which is that uh, the budget for 2021-22 for hire of machines, Honorable Speaker, has never begun. We are just a few months away from uh, the end of the third quarter. Is the third quarter? Yeah. Yet uh, we are allocating so much money and they have not even begun. 
I don't know what the honourable members here have had uh, hired machines come with their words. Honourable Speaker, on the issue of Kaimosi ATC, Honourable Speaker, there are so many issues on Kaimosi ATC, including uh, Kiborgok uh, T Estate. Honourable Speaker, one of which is uh, the the Chairman Agriculture can confirm that the CCM and the Department advertised tender for the management of uh, Kiborgok. Uh, I don't know what has come of it. Allocating 10 million to Kaimosi ATC. How shall that money be managed? On what, yeah, what parameters are being used so that we can allocate 10 million? Uh, the other issue, Honorable Speaker, is uh, on the, the chair. Should take note that uh, I believe the chair is aware that all conditional grants were converted to equitable, uh, uh, shareable revenue to counties. Honorable Speaker, uh, I don't know whether money allocated for vocational training centers. In this case, we are allocating uh, we are allocating how much? 38.5 uh, million. 38.5 million to vocational training centers. Uh, the chair may come out and tell us clearly how this money will be expended, whether that money is adequate to run our vocational training centers. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Cynthia. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. I want to thank the committee for taking their time amidst uh, their very busy schedules to be able to go through this report and actually come up um, with this particular report. I want to appreciate Honorable Chair, uh, the committee, for thinking about uh, the cooling, the cooling uh, plant uh, machine. What we have right now is telling the CEO uh, agriculture, I want to donate that particular building in Kapkagaon to the chief because the chief does not have an office. It's just a structure, Honorable Speaker. So I'm glad that um, the committee has seen it fit to be able to allocate some 65 billion for the machines to be uh, put in those particular structures. However, Honorable Speaker, when you hear stories of how we ended up with structures without machines, it's a very sad story of uh, strings attached. But I want to I want to appreciate the committee for uh, putting it um, on paper, so that we are able to have that money. Uh, on the issue, Honorable Speaker, of uh, of ECDs, uh, the committee is suggesting that uh, five million be given to every ward for construction of two ECDs. This particular ADP, Honorable Speaker, is actually it continues to marginalise the already marginalised, because as we speak, Honorable Speaker. The awards that, uh, like Kilibone Award, Honorable Speaker, with 44 ECDs, if we continue building two ECDs per award, Honorable Speaker, I will need, um, I will actually be needing five terms for me to be able to complete the ECDs in Kilibone, which is not honorable, possible, Honorable Speaker. 25 years is not a, a joke. Actually, it will be 30, including the five that I've had. So I feel like uh, this ADP should have been progressive enough to be able to sort that particular issue. Um, as opposed to putting it clear that there will be two ECDs per ward that should be constructed. Honorable Speaker, on the issue of um, the sports and youth affairs, it's actually suggesting that we give 25 million uh, for laying of tat and truck. Honorable Speaker, I think uh, this particular recommendation for the by the committee, Honorable Speaker, is not well informed. It should be uh, it should be known to each and every member of this house that. There is, a, there is a supplementary budget that has been brought to the floor of this house, and the supplementary budget suggests that all the money that has been that had been allocated for the same uh, for the same for, for the same uh, purpose that is uh, the, the stadium has been swept in totality. It has been removed in totality. So, Honorable Speaker, you wonder why you're removing money, and you want to uh, actually allocate another money, 25 million to do something else that should be done after the money that you're suggesting to be removed in the supplementary budget has done. The money in the supplementary budget is supposed to complete that particular stadium and then you can now allocate 25 million for laying of Tartan. You cannot lay Tartan when you have not completed the stadium, Honorable Speaker. So Honorable Speaker, I want to say that this particular recommendation for the, by the committee, I do not agree with it. And um, second last one, Honorable Speaker, is about uh, uh, recommendation number G. The committee is still talking about allocation of 10 million for construction of a dam site at Kaimosi. Honorable Speaker, the issue of Kaimosi is dead, is done and dusted. There is no agreement that Kaimosi will be used as a dam site. 
the public participation indica indicated the same. This particular county assembly has also another amendment that is uh, suggesting that money be removed from Kaimosi and be reallocated. So you wonder, Honorable Speaker, why this particular uh, recommendation is not, it's not informed in terms of what exactly is happening, especially in the previous budgets. Uh, lastly, Honorable Speaker, I would want to speak to the recommendation number I. Uh, recommendation number I and um, uh, the, the, the Department of Trade and Investment, in, uh, Trade Investment and Industrialization. It is talking about consideration of 10 million for completion and operationalization of market stalls across the county. Honorable Speaker, I think being a county and as, as a, a, a county assembly that, has, that we see things that are happening in our wards. For instance, Honorable Speaker, Honorable Fred, just before uh, you enter Shell, there are sheds, there are market stalls for Honorable Fred. Honorable Fred, is anyone using the market stalls? No one is using the market stalls. Chebarbar, there are market stalls. So many of them, I think anyone of you sees it when they cross the road. There are so many of them. Is there anyone using it? No one is using it. There are others, Honorable Speaker, that are at, are at Kiliboni Center. The Kiliboni Center ones, Honorable Speaker, is there, is there anyone using them? No one is using them. This is something that we should have been able to do a feasibility study and the issue or uh, the ADP and the drafters of the ADP are supposed to have done a feasibility study, of course based on what has happened previously. Those things are not located in, um, in, 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 a, in, a, in a place that attracts people to be able to use it. And if they are, if they are Honorable Speaker, no one is enforcing it. No one is asking those very hardworking women at Chebarba to be able to use those tools. No one is using any uh, mamamboga or any person who is doing business in Kiliboni Center to actually leave the roadside and go inside the, 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 the designated area for the market stools and do business. So, Honorable Speaker, I don't think we should be able to continue wasting money, wasting 10 million shillings in doing uh, the market stools, uh, other market stools across the county, Honorable Speaker, when it is clear that no one is using them uh, for starters. So, Honorable Speaker, um, I want to appreciate uh, the construction of 10 border border shades uh, um, the, the Barabara Shades and the completion of uh, and operationalization of uh, Museria Textile. I appreciate that and I uh, appreciate the committee for that. For the Barabara Shades, they are really important, Honorable Speaker. They need to be, uh, attention needs to be paid uh, to them. And I wonder, Honorable Speaker, why are they able to locate the Boda Boda Shades in a prime, in, a, in, in the correct place? but are not able to locate the market stores in the correct place. The catchment for the market stores, because these are targeting people who buy items, eh, are the same with those of motorbikes, because they are also targeting people that they want to carry at ease. So, Honorable Speaker, I, I don't understand how uh, uh, that one goes. In the, 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 those are my, my, my concerns in regards to this budget. And uh, on the issue of Basari, Honorable Speaker, uh, the bursary issue, um, I think the committee should be able to update their records. I, I don't, I, I, don't uh, I support the 180, eh, but I have done calculations. If we continue doing uh, the distribution of bursary as it is, of course, uh, the NASEF amendment of the NASEF Act failed terribly when uh, uh, giving a suggestions, including a suggestion that I had made, that for purposes of equity, we should be able to change the unit of distribution of bursary from uh, the per ward because it is disadvantaging other wards while other wards are able to um, to gain more advantage and i had given a suggestion that we should be able to change the unit of course honorable speaker it was met with a lot of um, yeah almost zero people agreed with it very few people agreed with it but again honorable speaker the 180 million if uh, the mode of uh, uh, distribution or unit is still per ward there are words that will still be disadvantaged, including Kilibwani and Loli Mayor to Kilibwani, Honorable Speaker, because... Point of uh, information, Honorable Speaker. Yes, Honorable yeah. Mengage. Yeah. Yeah. Honorable Speaker, I don't know why Honorable Cynthia is, uh, is preempting uh, that bill which is coming to the House. It is upon the county Assembly to either approve or reject. We have already noted that uh, the drafters have indicated that uh, the the unit of distribution will be sublocation. So I would request my colleague here to be patient so that she can contribute to that when we bring the bill. Uh, uh, good information, but fair enough also, Honorable Cynthia is right in her submission because we are discussing the, fourth cap, the next uh, ADP breakdown of allocation in terms of what so 
she is rightfully placed to share her sentiments as regards to um, the issue of uh, units of um, the smallest units of uh, disbursement of any other resource that is in the county. Proceed on the percent here. Yeah, thank you, Honorable Speaker, and I want to say that uh, I want to appreciate Honorable Mengit because uh, that particular statement has given me hope and has given the pe people of Kiliboni hope who have suffered with receiving 67,000 shillings per sub-location uh, for the last four years. So um, I, I, I want to say that I appreciate the committee, but those are my, the res my reservations in regards to this ADP because, Honorable Speaker, this ADP is something that... 2022. It's actually a 2022-2023 ADP and we should be able to be progressive enough to change and make corrections where we have not been able to meet the targets previously. So I appreciate the commitment to in regards to the same. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Fred. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. I want to thank the budget for the work that we have done. I want to thank you very much Siku ya kwanza nafikiri tungekosana lakini sasa hivi tumeelewana kwa sababu naona sasa vile inaenda inaelekea e, njia mzuri. Mheshimiwa speaker yangu tunu ni kuambia uheshimiwa kwamba leo ndio nimeona hata e, karo itaf, itafika milioni tatu. Na hiyo ndio ingekuwa mwanzo wa ya hii bunge mheshimiwa speaker. Kwa sababu tunapeana milioni mbili na inaisha. Tungeona kaunti ya nani ingefika hata milioni tano. Kwa sababu kila mara wasasa wanaambia watoto wasome na wana pesa na Kenya hii ama Nandi ya kaunti yetu ya Nandi wala watu fukara wenye wana pesa ni wengi kuliko matajiri na hiyo ndio nataka tuinue elimu iende juu ili wananchi ili, ili Kenya Nandi yetu itashindana ile eh, kaunti nyingine nilisikia kuna makaunti hata wanapeana bursary kwa kila mwanafunzi kwa shule lakini kaunti ya Nandi sisi kama uheshimiwa tumepitia tabu mingi sana hii harambe tunafanya ile mshahara tunapewa yote tunafanya harambe ya ukaro ya shule tunafanya harambe ya kila kitu na hiyo pesa tunaenda nyumbani bila pesa nafikiri hata wale waheshimiwa wako hapa sasa hivi hata ile pesa hawana pesa hata unaona tapija ichawekwa kwa sababu pesa hakuna na hiyo ndio imetuletea hasara mtu akifariki ni mheshimiwa MCA ngombe kiwa mgonjwa mheshimiwa MCA kila kitu sisi ndio tunachukulia mheshimiwa speaker lazima tuelewane ya kwamba tutengeneze hii bajeti ili ikifika kule mashinani wananchi wanafaidika hiyo ndio tunataka sisi ndio tuelewe na najua unajua wananchi waelewe ya kwamba pengine utaona mawasiri na matajiri lakini ma, eh, eh, ma, eh, wakilisha wa wadi ni fukara hawana pesa na hiyo ndio tunataka tu, tuinue hii kaunti yetu ya Nandi ende juu ya pili eh, ile sheria ya PPI kulikuwa kuna maneno ndani yenye ilikuwa mzuri mheshimiwa speaker ile mimi nilikuwa nafurahia pale ndani ni ile mheshimiwa MCA awe wasiri kwa sababu yeye ndiye anasikia uchungu ya, 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 ya barabara na kila kitu. Yeye ndio mimi nilikuwa naunga mkono kwa sababu sasa hivi tungekuwa na mawasiri hapa. Tungekuwa tunauliza wasiri kasi yako ni nini? Yaani sasa hivi ukiuliza wasiri yenye tukiuliza hata sahii hapa, wasiri anakula kuku mahali. Kwa sababu eh hai leo ni mambile kaunti ya Nandi penye napitia. Na sasa hivi najua kuomba kura ndio wanaendi wanauliza maswali. Lakini makosa si yetu. Tulikuja hapa bungeni wakati mheshimiwa gavana alikuja hapa, alitupatia mawasiri tukawapitisha alipatia alipatia pacheti tukapitisha hakuna kitu atajaipitisha kwa hii bunge lakini shida ni ule mtu anatekeleza yale mambo tunafanya wasimua tunataka tufuatilie hii pacheti kwa nguvu saidi tuhakikisha kwamba kama kuna waziri kuna kwa waziri anafanya kasi yake sioni kwa nini ya kule mshara ni hasara kaunti ya Nandi na tuelewane wasimua kama kuna kwa waziri mmoja ajawahi fanya chochote mbona kule mshara yeye akatishwe aenda akae kando kwa sababu fada kwa hii bunge unaona sasa hii pacheti kama usiku mchana kuhakikisha wamepanga wame iende kwa laini mzuri lakini wapi ya pili tena ya, 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 ya tatu ni wale ma contractors wanaofanya wana kasi kaunti ya Nandi mheshimiwa speaker nilikuwa naona ya kwamba wale walikataa kufanya kasi wasipewe kasi yoyote mwaka kumi nitalete muswada hapo kama kuna contractor yote amepewa kazi na hajawahi maliza hakuna haja afanye kazi kaunti ya Nandi kwa sababu unachukuaje kuna kuna mwingine angechukua umemnyang'anya raundi hiyo unakataa kumaliza hakuna haja apewe kazi kaunti ya Nandi yeye mwenyewe afungiwe nje aenda afanye kazi kwa kaunti nyingine kwa sababu hakuna haja sisi tu, pesa iko hapa na wanakataa na nimefuatilia saidi wale wanafanya wana ndio pesa kuchelewa 
kwa kiluka eh, kiluka ya kimombo ni kinuku pending bills ni hao wenyewe ndio wanafanya wanakataa kufa, kumaliza kazi kwa wakati ifayo ili warudi baadaye wasema ati wanakuja kudai kaunti yetu na hiyo ndio tunataka tuhakikisha kwamba hao wenyewe kama wameshindwa kwa waachana na hiyo kasi tutafute wengine watusaidie tuone vile kasi itaendelea kumalizia mheshimiwa speaker mimi nikushukuru mheshimiwa kwa sababu kila mara tuna wakati tunafanya kasi tunafanya pamoja unajua mheshimiwa wajui ya kwamba hii ni bajeti ya mwisho tunapitisha kwa hii tamu yetu ya hii mwaka hii kwa hiyo muda wote tunaungana pamoja tumefanya kazi mzuri tunataka tu, tu e, mimi kwa maombi yangu wa, kwa sababu mheshimiwa nyoka wako hapa wako na ujuzi ya kutosha ningaomba Mungu na wananchi warudisha wabunge wote ili kasi ya kaunti ya Nandi iendelee kwa sababu wale wageni wakikuja kitambo elewe hii miaka tano kuna wajuaji wa kwa hii kaunti wale waliandikwa kitambo wanajua vile wanakaranga si sasa hivi tunajua vile tunakutana na hawa tujue ule ukora wanafanya tungaomba Mungu na wale wa wananchi wahakikisha kwamba hii miaka tano waongezee wale wabunge wako hapa ili kasi iendelee ndio tufanyelise hiyo kazi asandeni Mungu awabariki ndugu salam then ndugu leader majority i think uh, thank you yes. honorable speaker honorable speaker uh, i rise to join my colleagues who have spoken to support this adp mr speaker uh, this is one of the budget cycles as the chair has indicated the public finance management act section 126 provides for this uh, the people of nandi just like the other pe the people of kenya need service it is critical for us to pass this to pave way for the preparation of the budget for this year in order for our people to be served uh, the chair and the committee have mentioned the various projections for the various service lines which include ECDs, health, uh, bursaries as the chair for education has mentioned even in future we will have an equitable way of sharing. This is critical, this is important. We have a number of health facilities which were opened this year. Most of them are barely equipped. They still need more equipment. So the allocations here in will go a long way to help such facilities. Uh, the county assembly building is here. It's not yet done. About about eight years down the line. It needs to be completed. It can only be actualized in this final in this year that is coming. So the allocations here in for the county assembly as well will be able to meet that requirement. So Mr. Speaker, I support the ADP. Now this ADP has two lifelines. Being the last one that we are doing as, a, as an assembly that we have been here this session, as soon as elections are done and the new government comes in, it has a lifeline of being reviewed if there is need. But as, as it is now, I support this ADP. Thank you. Authority, then we proceed to take a vote. Thank you, Rose, Rose Speaker. I also stand to support. I thank the committee for the good job they have done. The fact that they have increased the bursaries, Rose Speaker. I know the issue of sharing bursaries using locations will not succeed. We'll share by what, Rose Speaker. That one will not work anywhere. Honorable Speaker, Honorable Rita, majority, how uh, sure are you? Uh, and yet the debate are, on the same is we, not yet brought to the minute. House. You are allowed to, uh, the members <laughs> to debate. They say it the same thing, Honorable Speaker. I was also say, saying my mind, Honorable Speaker. <laughs> because I know we are very many. <laughs> it's only that we are silent, Honorable Speaker. <laughs> uh, one thing I'm happy is the increment. Uh, I also understand Rob Cynthia when she, she talks about uh, the issue of two ECDs powered. I know my ECD centers are primary schools in my place. Maybe it can be less. In your, in your ward, it can be more. But if it is possible, there was a fund that we discussed sometimes back, equalization. We can, we can consider the, the larger wards using that fund. 
so that they can have extra extra easy. Otherwise, uh, the fact that you've considered completing existing structures, whatever we started, we ensure that we complete, that one is good. The only suggestion I was giving, honorable speaker, if possible, as everybody else has said, the 200 million, if it is possible to share per word and to be, to be used for contracting the roads, it can work even better than anybody else, honorable speaker. Otherwise, I support Rosie. Uh, Honorable Walter Teno, right of reply. And any other thing that you wish to raise? Yeah, thank you, Honorable Speaker. Before I give a right of reply, Honorable Speaker, allow me uh, to move on a, a amendment. Your development plan for the national year 2022-2023. Mr. Speaker, I wish to propose that the budget and operation committee report on the Nandi County Annual Development Plan for financial year 2022-2023 be amended by adding the following to cater for, for development expenditure. The same had been omitted in the ADB for financial year 2022-2023. That is Nandi County Assembly Development Expenditure, Kenya shillings 200,000 for completion of ultra modern Nandi County Assembly building and uh, speakers. A resident. I beg to move. Is it 200,000 or 200 million? 200 order? million, Honorable Speaker. Yes. I think I've read clearly 200 million. Oja Abari, Mwishimi Speaker. Yes, Honorable Fred. Nimesikia Mwishimi wa akiongea kuhusu nyumba ya Speaker. Hiyo nyumba iko hapi. Hiyo pesa inawekwa iko hapi. Ndiyo likuwa ndaka nipata Abari nu. Nijua iko hapi. Sijawai yona? Come out clear on the board that you know on the, the amendment you are moving and uh, of course uh, before it is moved and seconded uh, we we would allow you that it is moved and seconded so that uh, the queries can be raised. Pia, uh, Mr. Speaker, I am going to ask you to ask you if you are going to ask me 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 if you Yes, on proceed and move uh, and properly before the House Honorable Walter Taylor. Okay, thank you, Honorable Speaker. I wish uh, that now that to move this uh, be amended that uh, the following amount to cut off for the development expenditure for county assembly to development expenditure that is 150 million for the ultra county, modern anti county assembly building, mm -hmm. and 50 million for the speaker's residence, Honorable Speaker. So I beg to move, and I call upon Honorable Rail to second. Fair enough. Now that the proposed question that the um, motion and amendment of the ADP moved by Honorable Walter Tena and seconded by Honorable, Mag uh, Honorable Rail to teach be discussed. Honorable Speaker, as I support... Uh, yes, Honorable Mengage. Honorable Speaker, as I support... Uh, uh, the issues raised by Honorable Fred. Of course, we would expect uh, Honorable Fred says that we cannot proceed until we see the house. Uh, I think the, maybe the issue Honorable Fred would be raising, maybe have we seen the piece of land, which I believe uh, Honorable Comen can confirm as a representative of the count assembly board. I think the piece of land has been bought. Maybe the next issue we should be asking is, you give us the house design, house plans, so that we see. And then, do, does the speaker need a 50 million house? If, even if the SRC has recommended a house not exceeding 80 million, why would we need a house for 50 million? Why? Why would the speaker need a house for 50 million? I believe a house for 15 million is adequate enough. Yes. So, Honorable Teno, uh, plus equipping, even plus equipping, even, even plus equipping, <laughs> honestly, yeah, we, 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 we don't have a bottomless source of funds. If we cannot complete this house, this building on time, why would we need 50 million for that house? Yes, 20 million is a lot of money, chair mm -hmm. finance. So as much as I have not hesitant to accept that uh, amendment, then as we proceed, we should look at the house plans. Yes, we should look at uh, the, what do you call, quantity uh, engineer's estimates. Yes, thank you. Honorable Fred. Mwishimiwa Speaker, yango mimi si hungi mkono yale maneno yote mwishimiwa Speaker. Kwa sababu ya kwanza mwishimiwa Speaker, 
hata ununuaji wa shamba kulikuwa na ukora ule mtu alikuwa ameshinda waliwaja mtu kutoka eh, upper town wakaenda wakaleta ingine mheshimiwa speaker ya pili mheshimiwa speaker kwa nini nyumba inajengwa na pesa ngapi milioni 150 tena mheshimiwa speaker kuna ukora hapo ndani mheshimiwa speaker kwa sababu milioni 150 si pesa kidogo na najua kila siku wakati muda inaisha kuna pesa ina, inawekwa hapo ndani kwa nini hawakuweka hiyo pesa kwa hiyo muda wote tumekuwa hapa mheshimiwa speaker tunataka tujue ya kwamba watuambie na hiyo kamata wanasimamia watuambie hakuna siku tumepewa kwamba habari ya kwamba siku mwaka fulani tumetumia pesa fulani mwaka fulani tumetumia pesa fulani mpaka juzi mheshimiwa kabana alikuwa anatuliza mmeshinda na hii hii nyumba kidogo mjenga alafu mnapiga kelele tu mpaka tumeshinda kupiga kelele mheshimiwa speaker kama hiyo ni maneno hata hiyo kamati ingevunjwa kwa sababu watu, hakuna habari yote tumepewa kwa hii bunge lazima tuletee habari tujue imefika wapi na ni pesa ngapi na imelipwa ngapi na hii nyumba inachukua pesa ngapi hii nyumba imemaliza miaka kumi. mimi nimekuwa hapa ikianzishwa mpaka sasa hivi miaka inaenda na mambo inaongezeka mheshimiwa speaker nafikiri hata ukiangalia wakati walikuwa na jenga nyumba cement moja ilikuwa ilikuwa shilingi 600 sasa hivi imeongezeka nani atalipa hiyo gharama mheshimiwa speaker ningependa mheshimiwa tupilie mbali yale maneno yote ifanye kazi kwa sababu najua hata wakati tulienda nyumbani kula pesa iliwekwa na hiyo pesa hatukuona mimi nilikuwa mbunge awali ya hii bunge kuna milioni 138 ilipotea kwa hii bunge hatukuona mpaka leo walipitisha na ikapotea na hiyo nataka tuelewane ya kwamba naambia kiranja wenu chunga jina yako mambo kama hii kesho wewe utakuwa hapa nani ataendelea mtu atakula utasema wewe ndio ulipitisha Mheshimiwa hiyo mambo tuachilie mbali mpaka wale tukirudi hapa mambo ya bunge watakuja hapa watakuja kukaa chini waangalie inafanyika nini na nafikiri hata hiyo pesa milioni 150 itafanya kazi lini kama mshimi, kama kama waziri wa bajeti ya jawai lipa milioni 17 yenye nitakana kulipa hiyo mtu mbona milioni 100 na kitu itakwenda namna gani Mheshimiwa speaker kumalisia milioni 50 na hicho chorwa inaenda wapi? Hicho hicho kwa hii bunge inaenda wapi? Hiyo mimi siungi mkono na ningependa kuambia mheshimiwa eh, speaker wetu ya kwamba akuwe mwangalifu sana. Kwa sababu yeye ni kijana na mambo mengi iko hapa mbele itamwaribia jina yake. Asante sana. Honorable president. Honorable speaker. Uh, we will need money for development. Now, when the budget comes, it will be critical now to apportion appropriately how much for the speaker's house and how much for the completion of the structure. It is unfortunate here that transparency has been an issue. When the members asked for for what has happened this far, as far as the building is concerned, it, the, the service board did not provide this information. Yes. Now we want to make a decision in a position which we are not informed. We do not have the luxury of time because now the ADP is ready for approval, the CVSP is ready for approval. I can only say, Mr. Speaker, that the service board should up the game and when we'll be doing the budget let it be clear let the assembly be serviced with information we cannot be making decisions blanketly members have entered don't remember Menge just mentioned it is not necessary to build the speaker of the county assembly of nandi a building worth 50 million that is like a hospital so we cannot build a mansion like that for the speaker. But we have to approve the CVSP. The speaker, I will support the amendment. But when we're looking at the budget, we will streamline accordingly. We will not allow a luxurious building at the expense of building even ECDs or building dispensaries or building other facilities for the people of Nandi. The speaker is a port. Honorable Mwadich. Uh, uh, before Honorable Mwadich, you have heard, what is your information? I have heard that the bunga has been given to us for a million years. We have been given to us for a million years. We have been given to us for a million years.
kuliko mtu mmoja mheshimiwa speaker and you know how to bring about that on the fred you should be doing an amendment and you are here. you are sitting a member of the house odobo ngetich thank you honorable speaker uh, i want to thank you for giving me this opportunity uh, what i wanted to ask uh, honorable speaker since we have uh, the member of uh, public service board in this house uh, he can shed uh, light on how they uh, arrived at uh, the 50 million and the 150 uh, million honorable speaker so that we can uh, because I, I, I want to believe that uh, it was not just uh, they were not just fixing it uh, randomly that we want 50 million here we want 150 mi million for completion of the uh, new county assembly so since the member is here uh, i think honorable speaker he can uh, uh, shed light to this uh, house honorable speaker honorable cynthia before we would give also honorable uh, comment to comment on the same thank you honorable speaker i want to comment on this uh, amount that has been named as completion of the ultra-modern Nandi County Assembly building and speaker's residence. One honorable speaker, it cannot be 200,000 because we do not know what the intention is. Is it 200,000, you divide half, uh, 100 for the speaker's residence and 100 for, you know, honorable speaker, especially now that we are the oversight authority, we should be oversighting the executive. We should start from ourselves, honorable speaker, by setting the record straight. What we need to see uh, uh, um, uh, together with this, um, annexed with this particular uh, statement, Honorable Speaker, are the documentations that for the County Assembly ultra modern building to be complete, it needs 110 million or it needs 170 million. That should be clear. And again, Honorable Speaker, we should be able to see the estimates that have been done by a QS for the speaker's residence, honorable speaker, so that we know the amount of money that is needed for this house is 10 million, 20 million, 30, 80. Then we can be able to start from there, honorable speaker. We cannot just be allocating figures that go nowhere. We don't know what these figures are about. So, honorable speaker, I want to ask that before we uh, put this into consideration, we get the exact um, the, 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 the exact uh, the, the exact purpose of the money. If you look at what the executive has done, they have been able to state clearly that we are asking for uh, 65 million. That we are asking for 65 for, for, for 150 million. These 150 million are meant for two ECDs per ward at a cost of 5 million per ward, 2.5 million per ECD. So, Honorable Speaker, this one makes sense. But this one is just too blanket, Honorable Speaker. What does, exa what does it exactly mean? So, we want to, uh, someone to be able to put meaning to this so that we can be able to speak to it and we are able to pass it. We have no problem, but we want to see where the money is going. What is the reason or the purpose of the money? Maybe they are planning on constructing a 10 million uh, speaker's residence and we have a lot of money here. Maybe the amount of money still required for the ultra-modern modern account as is 100 million and we're talking about 200 million here on the speaker so before we talk and speak to this we should read, set the record straight that the documentation is provided annexed to it that we can be able to proceed the country executive has provided annexes it has spoken about what and where this money is going it has asked for 65 million and it is saying for operationalization of um, the milk cooling plants we know where they are all of them for that matter so on the speaker let us get details for this so I can be able to speak to it. Honorable Pius Murai. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Honorable Speaker. Uh, I also want to give my suggestion on this issue. Uh, we know we are operating on a budget which is uh, very much constrained. Uh, we need resources to be distributed to various departments uh, in one financial year. So the problem here, Mr. Speaker, is that uh, uh, if we were given some maybe design 
uh, engineers estimates on each one of them uh, this, could, this could be understandable but um, uh, uh, this could be possible that amount 50 million it is possible to distribute it uh, in let's say between three to four years so that we don't um, uh, have money uh, meant for various programs in one financial year being taken to a program which uh, is not a necessity in the short run, Mr. Speaker. So I was suggesting that uh, as we wait for for the evidence of this, uh, why can't we allocate um, maybe, let's say, if it is really 20, uh, 50 million, something like 15 million per, per year. But uh, setting aside 50 million in one financial year is on the other side. Same thing uh, to the other uh, case. So my proposal that is that uh, uh, if, this, if this is uh, after we have been given details about the same, why can't we distribute this over a period of time, but not one financial year? And it will affect other programs in the budget. Thank you. <coughs> Honourable comment. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Uh, I wish to indicate that uh, whatever is uh, in front of us is a, is a plan. And they say when you plan, you plan like uh, you live forever. When you pray, you pray like you are going to die the next minute. So this is just a plan, annual development plan, which means it's, it's, it's not the actual budget that is uh, supposed to be, to be utilized. Number two, uh, Honorable Frederick uh, Kemboy clearly indicated that we've been actually being, we are actually being frustrated by the executive in terms of paying for the, the county assembly construction. So it's not the board that is uh, not paying on time. We actually were supposed to pay amounts uh, based on uh, the, the requested amounts by the contractor and based also on the assessment that has been done to whatever level that uh, is expected. So uh, the, the county assembly uh, building still needs money for it to be uh, completed and even from from the proposal and of the annual development plan it's actually just indicated as uh, 200 million I think it will be refined more when budgeting time comes because this is just uh, a plan uh, whichever report that is uh, required in terms of uh, expenditure that has been done to the county assembly hall, it's available. The land that is, uh, has been bought for purposes of construction of speaker's residence is, uh, is there. If uh, any the place, uh, you're welcome to go and visit the place. Because this is a plan, I would urge the members that uh, we support this and uh, when it comes to purposes of now budgeting, we get into the finer details. Uh, I support. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Fair enough. Honorable uh, Medich. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. I want to thank the Honorable Member who sits on behalf of this Assembly in the Public Service Board for te telling us the truth that uh, they don't have uh, the bill of quantities for the Speaker's re residence and also they don't have anything for the 
county has information speaker allow me to finish allow me to finish my speech let us have the information clearly indicated that any information that is required is is available i think the channels that uh, this county assembly uses for us to request for uh, such uh, 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 such information and we are ready to provide i have actually indicated that uh, we are ready to provide any information that is required so that one does not necessarily imply that uh, they are not available I have clearly indicated that they are available and if need be let us follow the right channels thank you honorable speaker proceed on the petition conclude uh, thank you honorable speaker i think uh, honorable commander has set the record straight and uh, i want to agree with him thank you honorable speaker honorable elfas thank you honorable speaker i gone through the program I want to say that actually I'm in support of most of these uh, alignments, Mr. Speaker, particularly the one for uh, budgetary allocation on passeries, which I really pray that actually this program will go through it because whatever we are undergoing is very terrible. Parents and guardians of students in various schools actually are really crying that actually assistance from various stakeholders actually will be will be in handy and i want to request that actually tb plan and especially i am seeing the departments actually have been allocated some sums and i want to pray that actually it, it will go to majority stage it will go to realization of the projects seeing the allocation of kipchoge stadium for kipchoge we have been allocating each and every year but we keep on deleting. I don't know where okay, the problem arises. And this country being a source of champions, Mr. Speaker, we need to realize some of the uh, uh, facilities which will go in enhancing uh, uh, the tapping of talents from uh, our children, especially, Mr. Speaker. Given that actually, that is, this is the only stadium which actually will be available even for those who are down, those actually who cannot reach even to Kasarani. We can confer this one to be our Kasarani, Mr. Speaker. And uh, there's a lot of talents which can be tapped here. So actually, I want to see that actually this money which we have allocated to that uh, project is actually put into implementation, not just in paperwork, but we want to see the actual program in the ground. Mr. Speaker, uh, my, my word is this one for administration. Round of information, Mr. Speaker. Yes, and uh, Bruce Murray. Uh, uh, what? A very very important uh, document that I can see we don't have quorum. Thank you. Okay, oh, confirm whether we have quorum. Honorable Speaker, quorum is not present. Let the quorum bell be rung for. We we now have quorum. Yes. Proceed, Honorable Elfas. Thank you, Honorable Bruce Murray, for realizing it. I can see you are very sharp. That's why you are a second timer. Now, Mr. Speaker, what my concern was this one of uh, administration. We are locating money here for administration purposes. We want to complete uh, Nandil's uh, passback. We want to complete Masoriot passback. Uh, my request is some of this money actually we have been allocating to those two facilities Mosori at Passpark and Nandil's Passpark. Contractors have been running away because the allocation is too little. My request, Mr. Speaker, is uh, the department actually should see. There is a lot of programs actually in the administration and the allocation is very little here. Remember, we also have the, uh, the Western Disposal Plan in Kaimosi, which is to be underway and the money is very little. So, Mr. Speaker, I want to say I'm in total support of the, 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 the budget, the, the ADB plan. The ADB report, Mr. Speaker, I totally support, and uh, my, my, my request is that each and every department to see that actually the money allocated to them is put into use and it is realized as early as possible. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I proceed now with the question that um, the proposed amendment by Honorable Walter Temu 
be adopted by the house will as many as of assembly opinion say aye aye will as many as of contrary opinion say nay the eyes have it honorable mengich honorable speaker i wish to move a motion of amendment on budget and appropriation committee report in respect to annual development plan for financial year 2022-2023 mr speaker I wish to propose, sorry, to propose that the Budget and Appropriation Committee report on the Nandi County Annual Development Plan for Financial Year 2022-2023 be amended by deleting the words "hire of machines" and replacing with the words "tender roads" in the ADP Financial Year 2022-2023. Nandi County Transport and Infrastructure Development expenditure of 200 million shillings for tendering of roads. I wish to request Honourable. Uh, Sanga, to second. I proceed to now propose that the uh, motion and amendment as moved by the women gate be discussed. Well, first, thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, for giving me the opportunity. I want to say I totally support and I want to rally my colleagues, members, and the members. Whatever on the women gate, want to do it, given that the gate is very sharp, brilliant, and you can see 100 years ahead. Let us let us let us go as per his proposal because tender of Mr. Speaker actually will allow us to look for contractors who will do work more faster than hiring. Hiring has been a challenge. That's what we are going through now. It's a problem that we are facing right now. And Mr. Speaker, tendering will allow competent contractors actually to come on board and do the work. And actually we can realize that this money is used to the limit. So Mr Speaker, I totally support and I don't want anybody to to, to, to Put a question, Mr. Speaker, because we want to do it now. Order on the world first. You've contributed. You would have reason and say put a question because you wanted us to proceed in that manner. But now that you've contributed, give an opportunity to your colleagues to also contribute. Honorable Common, then Honorable Cynthia, and finally Honorable uh, Leader Majority. Thank you, Honorable Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to contribute to the amendment uh, uh, by Honorable Mengech. I stand to totally support the amendment, basically because uh, we've actually not been getting value for money when we're actually saying that uh, we, 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 we use the same money for hire. Currently, Terry Quad has not gotten that machine for hire, and yet we allocated money for that. And I know a number of uh, wards have actually not gotten... Uh, the hired machines so far and uh, accountability becomes uh, a problem when we are talking about hired machines but when it's contracted one it will bring in form of uh, employment to a number of uh, contractors and uh, its staff and uh, will actually get value for money so i totally support honorable speaker thank you honorable cynthia Thank you, Honorable Speaker. I also rise to support the amendment uh, that uh, the 200 million be used for tendering of these roads. I want to say, Honorable Speaker, in my ward, Kiliboni ward, I can account and I can attest and the people of Kiliboni can attest only to roads that are tendered under RMLF. That is for the four financial years. Any other thing, Honorable Speaker, is allow me to quote Kujuana. If you are not in the correct record of government, you will never see those graders. And if you, they happen to come, it's because someone who knows someone in the department was able to get there and they were given an opportunity to be able to take the grader and be able to do the works. And no one can account for them. No, no, no structured way that the department has developed, they have refused to actually develop it. Even the CEC, the new CEC uh, engineer, uh, Rono, when he came here for vetting, he gave us a 90 days plan that he will be able to produce or be able to bring a policy that one can be able to track where the machines are going, be able to end the issue of uh, siphoning of fuel. But you know, Honorable Speaker, it was all PR, and it is now coming home. The people on the ground are fire as we speak. Everyone is complaining about roads, and there's nothing that that department has done. All it has done is to create standards and classes of residents. If you know someone and if you have something in your pocket and you can be able to pull one, two, three strings, you can get the county government uh, machinery to be able to do roads in your, in your place. If you don't, you will have to survive with bad roads, whether you are bereaved 
or you are in a wedding or whatever is happening to you or you need to be able to, to get someone to hospital for very serious services and uh, emergency services. So honorable speaker, I want to agree that 200 million divided by 30 words, everyone goes with a 6.6 .6 million and you're able to show the people what that money has done. Other than saying that we have machines, we have fuel, fuel that comes and uh, I don't know who siphons this fuel because it looks like there's someone who's drinking it literally. We, we are, as Kiliboni, what the last time we had county machinery was 2018-2019. Apart from them, we have never seen them. So I want to agree that every time that this money comes, let us be able to get the 6.6 .6 million. It can do wonders as opposed to imaginary wonders. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. I support this amendment. Honorable Leader Majority. Uh, thank you, Honorable Member. Uh, speaker, I, because uh, I think I'm very happy that uh, when I made that in the, that thing in the morning, Rubo Mengej has made it legal. Or was like, in fact, 200 million is still little. We still supposed even to have around 300 million so that we can have 10 million for at least every word of those speaker. Going forward, this issue of hired machines. If up to including myself, you know, some of you normally suspect me as if I'm being treated. Is it a case of suspicious? That's why I was saying, up to including myself, members, I have never had that uh, I had machine. I have never had. In fact, I remember my 50,000 to fuel the county machine to do my roads. It is, I know, it's a challenge. But then uh, what we have done today and going forward, by God's will, when we come back, this is the way to go. Yeah. The roads that we brag so much about are the roads done by RMLF. And now that RMLF is no longer there, we can still reallocate the money even more than that one of RMLF, so that we can have our roads being contracted. We support Honorable Speaker. In fact, everybody here is supporting. I don't know why we should even be debating Honorable Speaker. Honorable oh, no, oh, no, no, no. The only person who was supposed to object was me, Honorable Speaker. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think let's give one minute, uh, Honorable Chair, Roads, to give uh, his remarks. Asana, Asana, Honorable Speaker, can you put in a fast? Ashukuru mshima mengeti kuleta hiyo eh, mabadiliko ya kusema kwamba tuende kwa tenda hiyo tunakubaliana vizuri sana kwa sababu hii shida ya kusema mafuta imeisha nini hiyo tutaevuka naye kwa sababu ukisha peana tenda eh, mwenye contractor mwenye anashughulika na hiyo mambo yote na nangojea tu alipwe kwa hivyo naunga mkono hakuna uvingamizi hapo I proceed to now put the question that the motion on amendment has proposed by honorable mengeti on the reallocation of uh, the a motion on amendment on budget and appropriation committee report in respect to annual development plan 2020 to 2023. Will last meeting as a similar opinion say aye? Aye. Will last meeting as a common opinion say nay? The eyes have it. Subsequently, I wish to put the question that this house adopts a county budget and appropriation committee report on the Mandy County annual development plan for the financial year 2022-2023 with amendments. Will as many as an assembly opinion say aye? Aye. Will as many as an opinion say nay? The eyes have it. Next order. Order number nine, adjournment. There being other business, I will stand adjourned. I'll the next number city.